It's a new Flutter app. Basically, the end goal is to uh, be able to scan your barcode, or it scans barcode, but we'll be able to scan the VIN on a car and pull up the make and model using a, a government vehicle API. So um, let me just go through real quick. So the vehicle API is here. Uh, let's go to it real quick. So it's the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration Vehicle API. So you can decode a VIN. It'll give you. Um, uh, yeah, you can pass it a year model. I, I don't even know that. But I use the flat format, I believe. The VIN extended flat. So um, you get makes and models. So to start out, we're going to get makes for the first video. In the second video, um, I'll get the models. It's pretty much the same code. But I'll let that be homework after the first video in case you want, <laughs> want to try that. And yeah, pretty, it has a lot of stuff. You can even get uh, decode VINs in batches. I haven't tried that actually, but yeah. So um, yeah, there's a lot to learn just in this one video uh, I might break it up a little bit but yeah so I'll just get started um, where's Android Studio okay so I'm creating a new Flutter app so scanner app I guess let's do scanner app oh that's fine scanner whatever that's fine and um, I use Kotlin and Swift. Uh, that's just what I like to use. Um, case I just like the native source code to be that, just in case I need to dig into it. But yeah, they pretty much updated where you really. The new Flutter update makes it where you don't really need to dig into it too much. But yeah. So we'll let this build. Oh, that was pretty fast. So like always, um, I'm going to create a new Dart file. Right click on lib, go to new Dart file. Then we're going to separate the my home page stateful widget. And so let's copy from this class all the way down. Save that. Copy that uh, my homepage widget in there. Uh, what is going on? Okay. Then above this, you import the material widget. And I'm going to do, I'm going to show some platform aware stuff. So I'm going to do iOS pop up. So really. But yeah. We'll just do this. We need to import the home page for this to work. Uh, we'll change the name to Vehicle Scanner App. So the last video will be we'll implement the barcoder. Um, so I'll just run this real quick. Then I'll go over the. I don't know why Android didn't show up. So I'll just use iOS. That's fine. Um, so I'll use the barcode. Uh, let me run this real quick. Okay. So I'm going to use this barcode scanner. Um, I can't think, sorry. Li library. That's pretty good. It's pretty easy to install too. I might make separate iOS and Android, um, videos. Going over, just using these two libraries. This is the library. These are the two libraries that they use. So yeah, it works pretty good. Um, we're gonna just use this. Uh, we use this in my other series, which is the Star Wars app. So we're gonna be fe um, fetching uh, JSON using the HTT pa package. So we need to import this also. So I believe I have this up already. Yeah. So you just need to 
I'll leave the link to all of these um, links and sites in the description. So uh, let's check that out. I just want to make sure that we're in right. Oh, it's not going to grab. Okay. Okay, so that's fine. That's the default um, Flutter application that it gives you when you create a new app, Flutter app. So, um, let's import the public spec YAML. All right, put the HTTP and the public spec YAML. So, you um, just make sure it's on the same line as Flutter. Uh, save that. Packages get. Click that up here. And then, um, Yeah, so we'll go back to. We're gonna use the tool I mentioned in the. This tool right here, Jason on the Dart. <laughs> We're gonna use this tool for the. Um, app I mentioned this in the, Star Wars tutorial series. It's just easier because it has so many um fields. Well, it's really. Not that much, but the results part is what we need really. So. Not that bad actually, but it does a lot for it. Just save us time, save me time in this video. So yeah, uh, we're gonna use this for to get the makes. So this will be the first video. The next video, be models, and then get data from Vin. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably do this in the same video. Get data from Vin. And then populate the makes and models. But I'll show you more of what I'm talking about. This, uh, I'll leave you link to this doc too. This, Google Doc, but um, yeah. So let's get back to it. Uh, so first, we need to make a network request to the API, to the Makes API, and then um, we're gonna make we're gonna use copy the J. I'll show you copy the JSON. I know it'll create this class for us. So. Uh, the JSON to Dart converter create this um we'll call it a make class. Well it'll create the model make class for us and then um so yeah we we'll need this too so this pretty much um you call this um uh, function what well, you call this function which calls the parse photos function. Uh, this fetch function uh actually makes the actual call and then uh, this function, which is right here, um, I don't know. It is talking about compute, which helps with stuff in the background to remove jank, as they mentioned right here. And so, um, so first we'll copy all of this code right here, just the imports for now, and now my home page. We'll just copy it over. Cause it copied material too, so let's find that that shows. I need to close anyways. So uh, we go back to this. We'll copy this code right here. So this fetch photos, as I said, um, uh, makes the actual API request. So yeah, we'll just call. It. Or actually, <laughs> the compute function. It has to be outside of a class, so I oh, know that's just the way they made it. So the name is make. We'll just do makes. Oh, we'll throw an error now because we haven't created the class. But let's do makes everywhere. Uh, for, let me just search it. Oh yeah, I need to change the function names as well. Yeah. Kind of up late. So, uh, it's like four o'clock right now, four thirty on the in the morning. I just wanted to wrap this up. Um, so we need to get the. This is the makes. You actually top of the whole string. Get makes. Um, this is the API I'm using. So, this is the import I'm using for the. To get the makes, uh, copyright. Okay, and so we'll just throw this. Uh, copy this. Take out <laughs> the string. 
for the single quotes and just run that and then copy it and then you go to json.dart where is it uh i'll leave the link to this javiercbk.github.io json.dart but yeah i'll leave the link to this so you just paste the i'll show you i'll just refresh it just to show you um you click here to see more that's built in i thought it was something i copied but yeah that's built in because it also has hide so you name the class so make right here and generate dart copy dart code uh let's see i clicked the wrong thing okay and then on live new right click on live go to new dart file again and then uh makes the name of the class and just copy that code in there so yeah then now you need to import the next class so that should get rid of these errors we'll just not huh. oh I don't know what it's talking about makes again. What did I name it? Oh, I named it make, that's why. Oh yeah, <laughs> let's just name it make. All right, if you named it makes, you can go ahead and do it. I could just recopy the code and... No, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I renamed it makes. Because I already changed the class name. I could change, I could show you how to change the class. It's I mean. We factor the code to change the class, but I'm just gonna change it to the right thing. So, so leave it as makes. Fetch makes, parse makes. So we need parse makes right here. So remove this cast dynamic. Really don't even need this. It's not we're really we're just returning make, so or makes sorry <laughs> so yeah so that's um just on the list yeah we don't need this so let me copy this sorry okay so that's how the coach looks so um okay so Right here, um, after the, this is the increment counter. We don't even need this. We can just uh, close this out. We'll actually need to, we could just remove this as well. The floating action button. So, okay. So right here, um, just put, well, we need, Start typing init state and it should start popping up. You just click enter automatically. So init state and state for widget, but it's basically only called once. Um, in the state for widget, so so once when you start it, I guess so. And it <laughs> kind of makes sense. I guess self-explanatory. But doing uh, we'll call fetch makes. The HTTP dot client call that function. So that's how we'll call fetch makes, and then um, and then I'll print out the value. So dot then then um, another set of parentheses type value. You can name it make or whatever. It doesn't have to be called value. So um. Yeah, I'm thinking about how I should do this. Okay, so print. We need to get the result. So value. Uh, results. It's in a make class, so I'll just show you. Uh, let me look at the JSON. Just to make stuff. Okay. So we'll go to JSON lint just to show you. 
So results has all of the makes. So has the make name. They give it an ID, passenger car. But I think all makes just have a passenger car. Or some don't. I know they all do. I'm good. Or did I choose car? Let me see. Oh, yeah, I, I chose car as a type, but yeah, it's fine for now. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so uh, but that pulls <laughs> that basically pulls all the makes anyway, so that's fine. So results equals um, value. <laughs> we'll need a variable name. Results. Just call it results. Equals value dot results. Or yes, yeah, a list of results. So. All right, so we'll loop through this and print each one. So um, var i n results. Four of our I and results are um, print make is uh, let's do sorry <laughs> I dot make name. All right, so yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, I'll break this video up. But let's get along. I'm trying to keep up really like at seven minutes at most, but eight minutes. I don't know. Let's see how that runs. Uh, do I press? Yeah. Do I run it? I don't know. So, yeah, we'll see. Let me make sure. I don't want to. Yeah, okay. So see, we're getting all of the makes. Make is.